welcome to my studio. I'm Karen Zima. Today I'm very excited to be working on another landscape. This one is relatively easy and I don't have anything sketched out so we can do it together. There's going to be a stream, some mountains, it's going to be like a misty, foggy morning with the sun just barely coming out. It'll give a little sparkle to the trees that we're going to have a couple trees and maybe um, on the bank, then you'll see a little sun peeking through. But for the most part, it'll be misty in the background with the sky and the uh, misty mountains. So let's get started. Alright, so some of the colors that I stuck out so far, I'm going to need more later, but to get going, we have a black and a white, a phthalo green, phthalo blue, a tan, a pink, and a chestnut color and a baby blue. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start, let's get uh, a brush that can cover a fairly large area, hopefully. Alright, what do I want? Alright, let's try this one. It's like a flat brush. And dip it in some water. And we're going to start with the sky. we got to get that sky in there. There we go. Very lovely baby blue sky. It's going to maybe come down around the mountains like this. And don't worry if you drip. And I work kind of fast. This is my style to get these videos out. It's your first layer of color. We're going to put more layers on top like we always do. And if some of you are joining me for the first time, I have a lot of videos out so far. Just kind of started my YouTube channel. But so far I have maybe uh, 25 videos. I paint landscapes, portraits, animals, uh, fantasy. I haven't done any fantasy ones yet, but I have a whole collection of fantasy. Uh, what else do I do? Animals, portraits. I love doing portraits, I love doing landscapes, and I really love doing animals, birds, wildlife. So if you want to check out some of those videos, maybe there's something there you might be interested in. Okay, so we're coming down with our sky. Then it's going to get kind of pink, like a haze, sunny, the sun's coming up. So we're going to like... Get some of that in. Just go right over the blue. Blend it in. Very nice. Alright. I need some more up here. There we go. Just with a crisscross, you can blend it in. So that is pretty much our sky. Now what we're going to do is we're going to block in some things we want. So we know where they're going to be. So we're going to kind of block in our mountains. They're going to kind of go, let's say, maybe up around here. Up, up, up. And they're going to come down. That is going to be our mountain. Blocking in. Alright. Now, let's see. Those mountains are going to come down about here. So we'll have a little bit of detail, a little bit of detail in here. Now this can all change. You can move things around if you don't quite have it right, or if I don't have it right, I can move things around too. So let's see. 
maybe up around here we have a tree growing. Maybe another one in here. Then we're going to have another one over here in the distance. And then maybe in here there's like a kind of a range of closer up trees like that. And then it probably continues over here. Just trees of all sizes. So that kind of fills that in there. Now let's say those trees come down to about here. Okay, guys, I know it doesn't look like much, but you got to kind of basically block it out in your head where things should be. At least that's the way I work. And it always seems to work out. Now, this mountain back here, let's start kind of blending that out. That is going to be very... And the trees that are going to go up through the sky, of course, we got to put them in last. We just got to build up before we put them in what's in the background. It's just a lot easier to do it that way. Now, what I'm going to do is make a line of trees here at the bottom of the mountain slope. We're going to take our Pathalo green and mix some black in with it and get this nice, rich green base color, which I love to use on all my landscapes as the base coat. And then I put a little bit of blue in there to give it like a cooler tone. Now, if I want to go a little warmer I would put a drop of like orange or red in there so we're going to start with that and that's going to be our base there we go now let's make the trees the lowest in the center that works best for this composition then we'll make the tree line higher along the right and the left side as we spread it out now on the dark pathalo trees we're going to add lighter tones on the top for depth, like just keep going a little lighter, let it dry a little lighter, and let it dry, and then it will begin to show detail. Keep that line of trees going. There you go, like magic. Wipe in those trees. In with your brush, just wipe them in. See that? See how they flow right off your brush? Beautiful. They came out just like I wanted them to. What is it about the landscape? For thousands of years, no matter what age, race, gender, or nationality, we have been hooked by landscape art, no matter what medium the artist uses. 
There is something so special about landscape paintings that somehow we have this almost otherworldly hold on us. They seem to grab us and yank us in and give us an, an emotional experience that is different to other subject matter. Okay, I think the next detail that will bring this together is putting in shadows or the reflections from the trees and the water. So we're going to get this brown color, mix it with a little, let's say, Maybe this beige. And a little more brown. Okay. I'm going to say right about here. Here, let's say, maybe I'll do the say wide. This one and be down further. Just putting them in light for now, just in case they're wrong. I'll be right about here. Okay, now let's get a darker mix. Some but they low in with the brown. Okay. Get the shadow color. Bring those shadows up. quits on this. Step back and take a look. I like it. I think it came out pretty good. I uh, thought of a name while I was painting it. I'm going to call it the uh, Nature's Tapestry because there's a lot of colors in here that kind of look like a tapestry. So I think that would be a good title for it. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching and keep on practicing because each time you practice you only get better. So keep on practicing. Until next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.